In today's video, I am doing a mob battle against my best friend Cam. But what Cam doesn't know is I'm going to be summoning in OP bosses the entire time. And I'm also using this one way glass to cheat. This video is going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you subscribe. All right, Cam, are you ready for today's mob battle? I am super duper ready and I studied very hard for this and I know exactly what mobs I'm going to choose. Well, lucky for you, I didn't really study at all so i'm just gonna have to wing it that sounds super bad for you and i definitely think i'm gonna win well anyways kim i'm just gonna get back to my side so we can get ready for the first round and now it is time for round one all we gotta do is look through this one-way glass and look at whatever mob cam spawns in and speaking of mobs you should comment down below your favorite mob in all of minecraft and oh my gosh it looks like cam is spawning in like blazes but they have like netherite helmets and shields i didn't even know netherite shields existed that is really scary well i need to get something that is a really good counter for these blazes so let's just go into the creative inventory and grab an ignis i think that's what it's called this is like a fire boss that has a sword and a shield so it also has a shield like cam's blaze things so if we place this down you can see this thing looks super cool and look at that sword it is giant i don't even know what kind of sword that is but we're gonna place down like three of these I think that should be enough. And it looks like Cam is building like a pillar of... Oh, it's a beacon of netherite. Okay, that's honestly such a flex. I mean, I've never seen a beacon of netherite, but I want to copy his exact build on my side. That way he's not so special. So let me just grab some blocks of netherite. And instead of making it that small, I am going to make this beacon huge. So if I just place two blocks like that, I can select them. And if I do the command set netherite block, there we go. We have a entire sheet of netherite blocks. And we're going to do this a couple more times to get a full beacon. So let's just do it again. And we need to do it a third time, a fourth time. You get it. I'm just going to keep going until it's a lot larger than Cam's. And there we go. This should be good. So I think if I place a beacon like that, yeah, there we go. I'm going to place down a bunch of beacons and it should light up every single one that I place down. And that looks so cool. And just to make it even better, if we grab some orange glass, we can place these on top of the beacon to make it the better color and there we go my beacon is infinitely better than cam's and i think that is time for round one so let's see if cam is ready all right cam are you ready for this first round yeah i'm ready and why did you copy me what are you talking about well i can see your giant stream of orange beacons Wait, Cam, how do you know that I have orange beacons? Are you cheating? No, I can look up. I can see them. Look. Oh, I forgot they go over the wall. I didn't know that you built a beacon. Well, my beacon definitely looks better because of the light blue. And my beacon is super duper rare. And it's not just any ordinary beacon. Yeah, well, my beacon is not an ordinary beacon either. But if you're ready, I think we should take down the wall. I am so ready. And oh my gosh, Cam, my mobs are ready to fight. Okay, I am getting rid of this wall right now. Oh my gosh, Nick, look at my beacon. Look, it's made out of netherite and it is so cool. Uh, hey, Cam, you should turn around. Yeah, what about what in the... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think my beacon is a lot better than yours because it's a lot larger and it's orange. But look, my mobs are completely tearing through yours. Why are my mobs not doing anything? Come on, please. Wait, do your mobs even do damage? I haven't seen them attack once. I think they do. They were supposed to. Whoa, did you just see that attack? Yeah, he just like stabbed through them. And what in the world? They're demolishing my army. Oh my gosh, these Ignis are so 
cool. Oh my gosh, I thought my reinforced places would do so much and this is the only one uh, that they can reach. The others are outside the arena, so I guess they are disqualified. Okay, Kim, I have an idea to speed this up a little bit. What's that? If you see this gauntlet of guard. Yeah, what does this do? We can right click and we can drag the mobs a little bit closer and they oh, should start attacking. Cool. Oh, come on. I think you've got this place. Oh, look, they're, they're shooting. They oh, have homing attacks. What in the world? All right, I definitely believe in this one. I'm going to use the Gauntlet of Garden. What just happened? Where did it go? Did it despawn? I don't know. You just watched it disappear. I wasn't looking. I was looking at my cool Ignis. If you want to spawn in one more, just, just for a chance, I mean, you can. I don't think I've seen a chance, but I guess I will. Look, come on. I believe in oh, you. Oh, they're already oh, coming. The come on, you got this. Oh, my God. They have ranged attacks, they have jump attacks, they have ground pound. These Ignis are so overpowered. Well, Cam, we need to get ready for the second round. And now it is time for round two. So all we have to do is look through the one-way glass and we can see that Cam is placing down Goblin Kings. I didn't think that Cam would actually use a boss himself and he is placing down so many. Oh my gosh. Well, I need to place down something that is even better than these Goblin King bosses. So if I go into my creative inventory, we can grab something called Craxius. And this is a boss that has like a flying chariot. And before I spawn it in, I want to build a little perimeter just to make sure that the Craxius can't actually escape the arena. So if I go ahead and use this sword, it should make a sphere of orange glass. And we're going to go ahead and use this around our perimeter. And and there we go. That should be good. That means that the Craxius can't actually fly away. Oh, it looks like Cam is building a crown for his little Goblin Kings, but I want to go mess with it. So if we go into my creative inventory, we can just grab a potion of invisibility. And if we drink this, I should be completely invisible. And we can just throw this away because I won't need it anymore. And oh my gosh, he built it all out of netherite. I think you can blow up netherite, but I'm not really sure. So let's grab TNT and we have a bunch of different ones to choose from, but I am gonna pick TNT times 20. I think that's the best option. And I'm also gonna grab a flint and steel and it looks like Cam is over there. So I'm just gonna place this down right here and I'm gonna light it and run away. Oh my gosh, that took out half the crown. Okay, well, before Cam realizes that anything happened, I'm just gonna go back to my side and pretend that I didn't do anything. And we look so good together, Goblin Kings, with my crown and that big crown over there. And wait, why is it missing half of it? And why is it only just another right? What happened to the rest of the crown? Well, it kind of looks even better like this. I kind of like it this way. Well, I think Cam noticed, but I'm already back on my side, so we need to drink drink some milk that way I'm not invisible anymore so let me just go ahead and drink this and now we actually have to spawn in our boss which is Craxius so if we place this down you can see that this guy looks super cool he has like a floating chariot and he has two swords so let me go ahead and place a couple of these down I don't know how strong those goblin kings are so I want to make sure that I have enough and I think that should be good. And now let's see if Cam is ready for the second round. Cam, are you ready for round two? I am ready, but something blew up my build. But honestly, I think it was an improvement. Well, I think that would be a good thing, wouldn't it? Yeah, it kind of looks even better now. Whoever blew it up, I have to thank because that was really cool. Well, maybe it was one of your Goblin Kings. Wait, how do you know that I have Goblin Kings? I can see their health bars? Yeah, right, you can. You can see health bars through bedrock. Cam, I can literally see their health bars. I could see you have like four Goblin Kings spawned in. I don't know what you're talking about. I have a lot more than four and you can't see health bars through bedrock. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm about to take down this wall if you're ready. I am ready. Okay, well, I'm getting rid of the wall in three, two, one. Here are my Crexius and look, they are shooting like lasers at your goblin kings oh my gosh come on goblin kings you guys got this 
Oh my gosh, I didn't know that Craxius actually shot laser beams. Yeah, and look, Nick, look at my crown. It looks so good. I changed the crown to make it look like a face and it looks just like me. Yeah, but your skin's not gold. Yeah, it's because I'm the winner, of course. Yeah, you'll have to change that skin to mine after I win this round. No, I'm definitely winning. Well, Cam, if I win this round, you have to make that build me and you have to keep it for the rest of the video, deal? Fine. Well, Cam, be prepared to start building because look at your Goblin Kings. You only have like four left, three left. Oh my gosh, come on, guys. And my Craxias are barely taking any damage. Wait, Cam, are these your last two Goblin Kings? I don't think so. Where's the rest of my Goblin Kings? Wait, what just happened to that one? I just saw one like teleport and it disappeared. Well, I guess this is your last one right here. Come on, you got this. You know what? Just to make this fight a little bit faster, I'm gonna use the Gauntlet of Guard and I'm gonna bring these guys a little bit closer. And oh my gosh, they're all ganging up on this one Goblin King. Oh my gosh. No, how did I lose? Oh, and look, he dropped a crown just for me. I'm gonna put it on. Wait, that means I have to change the build to your stupid face. My face isn't stupid. It's super stupid because I have to change my beautiful face to yours. Well, here, Cam, I will just stand here and model for you. I don't need you to model for me. I've already seen enough of your face well in that case i'm gonna go ahead and fix the arena so we can get ready for round three getting ready for round three that build on cam's side looks so much better and you know what i am keeping my crown because i'm gonna win every round in this video so now all we have to do is look through this one-way glass and we can see whatever he spawns in and are those yetis? They look really silly, but I'm just gonna guess that they're yetis. So I need to think of the perfect counter for a yeti. And I have a really great idea. In the creative inventory, we can look up something called the frost ma. There it is. And this is like a giant yeti and it is actually really scary. But before I spawn it in, I want to do a couple of things. This is a snow mob, so I want to decorate my side of the arena a tiny bit so if we just set off a couple of these snow tnts it should make the entire side of the arena is really snowy like that that is perfect so let's just do a couple more of these and that should be perfect right there there we go and now i want to make a giant igloo for my frost ma so if we just right click with the sword we can make a giant sphere of ice and if we go like that we're just gonna get a rough outline and there we go this is more of like an ice cave and not an igloo but it's fine i'm sure my frost ma won't mind so let's just go ahead and place it down and actually we need to wake it up so let's just give it a little punch and oh he's angry oh my gosh that does not seem like a good thing for cam's yetis so you know what i'm gonna spawn in two more and oh my gosh they are screaming super loud and they are actually shaking my screen every time they scream but let's see if cam is ready for this round hey cam are you ready for the third round yeah nick i'm ready and there is no way you're going to win this round because i spawned in a super duper strong mob and if i win this round i get to change this crown face back to my own deal well if i win this round then you have to add a crown onto my face deal well, I mean, there's already a crown, but I guess deal. Yeah, I'll add another crown. Okay, well, I'm definitely winning this round then. All right, Cam. Well, if you're ready, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the wall. Oh my gosh. What is that? These are frost moths and be warned. They are very angry, except for this one. He's kind of tired for some reason. Oh, they just turned my Yeti into ice. Come on, Yeti, you got this. I'm gonna go ahead and wake up this one. Wake up, wake up, it's time to battle. Oh, come on, Yetis, gang up on the Frost Maw. You can definitely deal damage if you will. Combine your power and kill him. Oh my gosh, they're actually doing damage. Oh, but he has like a swipe attack. 
Come on, you guys got this. I believe in you. There's so many. Oh my oh, gosh, what just happened, happened there? there? I killed all of them. I looked over for a second and I saw that entire group of Yetis get demolished. Come on, Yetis, please at least kill one of them. You're so close to killing two. I don't think it's gonna happen. These Frost Maws are so overpowered. I only have two Yetis left. Come on. And no, they are frozen. ice and they're about to get shattered. Oh, come on, please just no. Oh, they got great. Round bounded. Well, Cam, uh, if you need another model for your build, here you go. Just put the crown right on top of my head. You see? I don't need another model. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the crown. All right. Well, I'm gonna clean up my side of the arena so we can get ready for the fourth round. All right. And now it is time for round four. And look at that build on Cam's side. It looks perfect. So now all we have to do is look through this one-way glass, and we can see whatever mob Cam places down. And and he's placing down normal pillagers, which honestly, they're pretty scary. I mean, I'm kind of scared of pillagers whenever I play, but I think I have the perfect mob in mind. And wait, he's placing down ravagers too. Oh my gosh. I didn't think he was going to do combo round. Okay. Well, I have a really good mob in mind, so let's just grab it. In the creative inventory, we can look up the arch illager. And if you've ever played Minecraft dungeons, you know what this mob is. So if we place it down you can see that it may not look very strong but he can fly and he has a staff and he summons in a bunch of stuff but if cam somehow manages to kill this arch illager he actually transforms into another boss and here i'm just gonna show that off right now let's just do that and look he's spinning around and he's gonna transform <laughs> Look, he is the arch vessel right now, and it's actually very loud. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this just in case Cam can hear it. And look, he spawned in pillagers with like diamond armor. So that is going to be my boss for this round, but I don't want to spawn it in just yet. And Cam actually has a lot of mobs, but I am very worried about these ravagers. So I'm going to go invisible and go take out those ravagers, which unfortunately means I have to take off off my crown for now because if I still wear it while I'm invisible then it'll just be a floating crown. So let's just drink this and I will be completely invisible and let's go over to campsite and it looks like he's distracted right now admiring the build of me and yeah he's building something so I can take out these ravagers and this is the last one right here and there we go they are all gone and hopefully cam doesn't notice so i am gonna go back to my side and we can spawn in our arch illagers but before we do that i actually need to drink some milk that way i am not invisible whenever this round starts and there we go let's get rid of the milk and let's see if cam is ready for round four hey cam are you ready for this fourth round i am ready and there is no way you're going to defeat my mobs there is so many well i wouldn't be so sure because my mob can actually actually summon in more mobs so my army might be a lot larger than yours well my army is pretty strong so i would rather be strong than have a lot more well i don't know about that but if you're ready i can take down this wall i am ready to win this round cam is so confident okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna place down three of these illagers and i'm just gonna claim them and cam if you're ready i'm getting rid of the wall in three two one here are my arch illagers oh my gosh what is an arch illager well if you see these little flying guys that are summoning in more mobs that's what they are and i think i'm winning i can't really tell what's happening all the pillagers are just attacking each other i don't even know which mobs are yours and which mobs are mine well i think mine are the ones that are winning oh my gosh it is a total brawl what is happening Oh my gosh, come on, Vindicators, you got this. I can't tell which Vindicators are yours because these Arch Illagers spawn in Vindicators. Um, where are my Ravagers? Where did they go? I swear I spawned them in. I remember spawning them in. I, I saw them. They got completely, like, annihilated in the first three seconds. And wait a minute. I think my final mobs just died. Yeah, I think the entire army is dead. I think they're just summoning a mob and they're battling each other. Well, Cam, do do you want to see what would happen if you were to defeat one of the arch villagers? Let's just kill this one right here. And look, it's spinning around and it's transformed into the arch vessel. Oh, well, all of the mobs are 
fighting it because I don't know, but you won. So let's go ahead and clean up the arena. And now it is time for the final round. And Cam built two statues of himself. So I'm definitely going to have to go and mess with them later on. But now all we have to do is look through this one way glass and we can see whatever mob Cam places down for this round. And hopefully it's nothing too strong. And oh my gosh, what are those things? They're like teleporting all over the place. Hopefully they don't teleport over to my side. And oh my gosh, Cam is placing down so many. These things kind of look like the void and I'm pretty scared of the void. And look, they're just teleporting all over the place. Well, I need to pick a really strong mob for these guys. And I have just the idea. If we go into our creative inventory, we can look up the Shadow Lord. And this guy is so scary and so strong. And because these Shadow Lords fly, I went ahead and added the perimeter just like I did with the Craxius. So let's just place one of these down and you can see it is a giant Shadow Lord. So I think we should place down like three of these and look, they're already going up. I don't know what they're doing, but it's a good thing I added this perimeter because they would escape otherwise. And now I think it's time that we mess with those statues over there. So again, I have to take off my crown, unfortunately. And now let's just grab a potion of invisibility. And when I drink it, I will be completely invisible. And now let's go over to campsite. And he's just building a bunch of statues of himself. I mean, why? Why is he doing that? Well, I'm going to grab some TNT and destroy these statues because he should be building better statues like this one right here. So he is down there building out of that stupid light blue. So I'm just going to place this right here and hopefully he doesn't see and it'll just explode right in front of him. Oh my gosh, what just happened to my builder? And almost the entire thing got destroyed, but he's rebuilding it. What? No, 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 no. That's not allowed. Okay, while he's rebuilding it, I'm just going to place this one right here. And hopefully he didn't see that. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what happened. It just blew up. And oh my gosh, why again? And this one's still standing a little bit. So, oh, he's looking. I can't do anything. Why did that just blow up? I think it was because this statue here oh my gosh and while cam is looking at that amazing statue of me i'm gonna go ahead and take down the rest of this statue and hopefully he doesn't see it and there we go oh my gosh why did you have to blow up my statues with your tiny little brain nick why i knew it was you blowing up my statues but he gave me a tiny brain no, this can't stand. I'm going to make my brain huge. Well, since you blow up my statues, Nick, I'm just going to blow you up. No, 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 no. He's going to blow up my statue. I need to put water down, please. No, I couldn't stop it. Wait, what is that floating? I just seen something drop from a water bucket. Is somebody on my side? Oh my gosh, Cam almost saw me. Okay, I'm going to go back to my side before Cam gets suspicious. And now I need to drink milk because if I don't, I will still be invisible when the round starts. And now let's see if Cam is ready for the final round. All right, Cam, are you ready for the final round? I am ready. And Nick, I have a question for you. What is your question? Cam. What were you doing this round? Because I seen somebody floating around with items in their hand on my side. I was building a perimeter because my mobs can fly. Well, maybe you came to my side whenever you got bored to blow up my statues. I didn't get bored because I actually had to build this perimeter really big. I wasn't on your side at all. Well, I don't really believe that. Well, believe anything you want want, but I'm here to make another deal. What's that? If I win this round, you have to rebuild up my statue and you have to give me a big brain this time. I knew you were on my side. How did you know I blew up your statue? And how did you know I made you a small brain? You were on my side. You cheated. I was not on your side. I just know how you are. And you think you're funny by giving me a small brain. Well, if I win this round, then you have to admit that you were cheating. I have to admit that I was cheating even though I wasn't? No, I know you were, so you have to admit you're cheating and stop lying. Cam, I have never told a lie to you, but are you ready for this final round? I am ready. All right, well, I am getting rid of the wall in three, two, one. Here are my shadow lords. Well, here are my void inhabitants and they can reach your mom. You're cheating. How did you spawn in a flying mom? 
mob. I literally told you I spawned in a flying mob. That's why I had to build this perimeter, which I was doing the entire round. And look at my Shadow Lords art destroying your... What are these void things? Yeah, these are my void inhabitants, and I thought they would do so much more damage. Why aren't they doing anything? Uh, maybe it's because they can't reach my Shadow Lords. And oh my gosh, Cam, you're down to your last void inhabitant. What in the world? Uh? And my Shadow Lords are going crazy, and I win! Oh my gosh. Well, that means you have to rebuild that statue and not give me a tiny brain. How did you know I made you a tiny brain? Because I know how you are, and I know that you think you're funny by lying and giving me a small brain. Fine. Cam, why is there TNT in my head? Because I knew you were cheating, and I'm not rebuilding anything. You were cheating. No, I, know it, I know it. I know you're it. I'm rebuilding it. Oh my gosh, Cam, that did no damage. No, that actually did so much damage. I can't believe you're such a sore loser that you won't just build me a statue. Cam, I haven't even had water in my inventory this entire game. Whatever you say. Anyway, let's clean up the arena so we can do the outro. All right, Cam, when you're ready, come on to my side so we can do the outro. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe because me and Cam have a bunch of videos coming out like this daily, whether it's mob battles or Pixelmon. If you enjoyed then don't forget to subscribe and watch our other videos. Wait, Nick, you weren't cheating? Yeah, Kim, I told you. You thought I was cheating with like one-way glass or something? I definitely thought you had to have been. I definitely saw you. Kim, I told you I wasn't cheating. Maybe it was like one of those shooting star things that happen sometimes. No, I definitely seen a water bucket. I definitely seen somebody drop it. Well, maybe it was a ghost. Anyways, if you did enjoy, then make sure to subscribe and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.